सर नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू से समथिंग अबाउट टी दिस टाइम देयर इज टैक्सेशन ऑन कॉमन टी द टी दैट वी आर कंज्यूमिंग हियर सो दैट देयर कैन बी मोर अर्निंग्स थ्रू एक्सपोर्ट बट इफ वी एग्जामिन दिस टी इंडस्ट्री वी विल फाइंड दैट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग गुड रिजल्ट आई दर बाय द एफर्ट्स ऑफ द टी बोर्ड और बाय द एफर्ट्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट वन फोर्थ ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द होल कंट्री इज रिप्रजेंटेड बाई टी बट that much of attention is not given by the government to this industry they think that it is already getting foreign earning and so it should continue to get it but efforts should be made not only to develop this industry but also to improve the industry through research and other things as you know in some parts the foreign companies which are working here are neglecting this industry they are only after the profits they are not thinking of the development of the industry there is room for development in many respects but it all depends upon research work and research stations should be set up wherever there is neglect no doubt the tea board is there but the tea board is not seeing to these things that is our complaint it is in the tea board people are there who are not at all eager to see how this industry could be developed how we could earn more profits how the quality could be improved and how the quantity could be increased we are not seeing to that i come from a part where the tea industry plays an important part in the economy of that area but i find that it is being neglected from year to year and no attention is given to it i find that there is this drought menace in the tea plantations as a result no further improvement in plantation is made there the development of tea can be undertaken i only suggest this to our finance minister when you are giving relief to coffee why are you not giving relief to tea which is earning much more foreign exchange i humbly urge our finance minister to see to it and remove this burden on common tea para now i would like to say a word about betelnut there is taxation on betelnut which is imported in my part large quantities of betelnuts are being smuggled para so there was a representation from that area saying that battle nut should also come within the purview of customs duty and that part should be declared a port a representation was made to the finance ministry as also the commerce and industry ministry but nothing is done i urge upon them to see to this whether smuggling which is giving no benefit to the government and 
which is going to be increased cannot be stopped though our land customs department is there it cannot deal with smuggling effectively smuggling is going on so if you want to stop it some definite steps should be taken and the representation which was made from that part should be given due consideration para now some other friend also touched upon rural economy and cottage and village industries one thing we must do that is we must remove the disparity between the town and the village if we are to remove it what should be done we should develop small industries village industries and cottage industries how can they be developed for that power should be there now my honorable friend was saying that out of 6 lakhs of villages only 19000 villages have been electrified this is meager if village electrification is not given due consideration we cannot make progress when our draft 5 year plan was discussed among members of parliament i asked for information about how much of village electrification was contemplated in the third 5 year plan the answer was very unsatisfactory unless you develop your village industries how can you advance they are also contemplating to employ the surplus labor and also agricultural peasants who are not wholly employed to develop village industries and to make a plan but unless power is supplied unless you have a good scheme of rural electrification how can village industries be developed in this modern day we say big things we say here and we shout from house tops that so much is being done for the rural areas but actually we are not doing what should be done if rural electrification is there then rural industries can be developed otherwise they cannot be developed unemployment cannot be solved the only solution for unemployment is the development of small industries and cottage industries otherwise unemployment will increase year by year and there will be frustration among young men particularly among the educated